Hello! Today's video I'm going to share some uses um, of these stamp wheels. Now these are nothing new. Um, they've been around for quite a long time. But I personally haven't had that very many. Years ago I did um, buy some from Stampin' Up. They used to sell them. Um, this is one of the handles that they had. Um, you pull them apart and you can put ink cartridges in there. Um, the stamp wheels, this is a little one inch um, that clicks down in there um, like that. Um, then they have jumbo ones and they do have a jumbo handle. Um, this is a jumbo handle and you can put the um, stamp in there. But this is one that I had um, when I first bought my stamp wheels. Um, this is, these are made by um, Clear Snap, same makers of Colorbox. Um, this is their handle. Uh, they are also known as Rollograph. Um, but Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore. And to actually find the Rollograph wheels is like really hard. No stores sell them. Hardly any um, online stores um, sell them. So um, I wanted some because. I wanted to play with them again. Um, so I found um, an auction on eBay um, where the, she had 59. Yes, that's right. I have stamps for days now. <laughs> um, I'll show you some. And they come with four handles. It came with two of the smaller ones, which you know I really didn't need, um, and two big wheels. But here is some of the smaller ones, and I put them in these little photo boxes. Um, so that's one. And this is another one. Oh, look at all those wheels. Um, that's another box that I got. Now, I said I may have had maybe six or eight wheels um, already myself. Um, but all they did was just sit up. They just sat there and sat there and I didn't use them. And I thought, you know, I would like to do something else with those. And then these are the jumbo ones. Now I had, I think only three of these um, myself. Um, these also all came in that auction. So um, I got, I thought, a pretty good deal on those. <laughs> But, like I said, you can still find them. Um, Etsy, you can find them there, too. Um, but I'm excited. Um, there's a couple different things that I've done already with them, just to refresh myself. Now, one thing I did not ever have um, was the wheel guide. Um, this is a two-piece set. Um, Stampin' Up! sold this also. Um, it came, this came with that auction as well, the wheel guide. So when I had mine originally a long time ago, um, I tried to use my um, quilters rulers, and they're a lot thinner than this because what you do is you, you um, line it up. You want your um, image to be straight, and you put it up against this wheel guide, and you just roll it. So the problem with my quilter square, it was too shallow. So my wheel wouldn't ever stay up on there. It would just come off. And I could never get, get it in a straight line. And that just aggravated me. So that's probably why I quit using them. Um, but these jumbo ones, I mean, as far as, like, if you're wanting to make your own background, it's not necessary um, that you use this guide. Now, also years ago, um, people were doing these on their scrapbook pages. So if you have a really big, you know, 12 by 12 piece of paper that you're wanting a uh, design on, um, this definitely would work because um, these snap together and it makes one big long uh, ruler guide. Um, but the thing is, when you're not using an ink cartridge, Obviously, this one you can't use one in. But these big ones, they have a spot down there for an ink cartridge. And I don't have any of the big ones. Um, I have one little one that goes in here. So the only problem with that is when you're rolling a big, long piece, you're going to run out of ink. 
if you just ink it this way. But I my future plans right now are not to use it on a scrapbook page because it I'm really behind on them. Um, but for card making, they're perfect. So um, here's I was just like I said I was just playing. Um, these are some samples that I did. Um, you can see this one wasn't that good. I was just getting my feel for the wheels again. Um, the little bears. They're so cute. Um, using the wheel guide. Not using the wheel guide. Um, here's some more of the green leaves things. So, I've been playing with them. And this is a background um, that I... I just wanted to see what it would look like um, colored up. Um, I used this um, ink. This is the oxide ink. It's the hybrid, pretty much, pigment dye ink. Um, it works good um, on here uh, for the wheels because it's a very thick, uh, thicker ink. Um, it covers really well. I actually do like these for regular stamping. Um, but you have to heat heat set that, um, and the darker color is in the green is alcohol marker, um, and then these two are just a um, uh, what is this one memento, just a regular dye ink um, marker on these. Um, and, and but another thing I wanted to play with these wheels, I love background stamps. Um, personally, there's a lot you can do with background stamps, but I used to do card workshops years ago, and whenever I would bring my background stamps in for a, a card, um, a lot of the ladies didn't like it, <laughs> because they couldn't get them to, you know, you had, this is a woodblock one, and then, back then, when I was doing those classes, this is all you would have, woodblock, so you either, you know, you had to push down and they just couldn't get a good ink transfer. Um, I try to get them to ink it and then put their paper on and do it this way and they would still blur it. So if I would have had these back then, um, they probably would have liked me a lot better. Uh, but I love my background stamps. So um, these would be good for that as well. Um, one thing I am going to try... Um, is a dye ink now supposedly you can't use all dye inks with alcohol markers because they bleed um, I'm gonna try heat setting it and see what it does I mean I'm sure I've done it before but I don't know I said this this was originally inked with this um, heat set it it doesn't bleed at all um, I'm gonna use a different um, stamp this time, I'm going to use a smaller one. Um, I'm just going to see. So, I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to get my heat tool out. And I'm going to I'm going to dry it. And then I'm just going to see what it does. Now, I said, since you don't have an ink cartridge in there, roll it, lift up, roll it, lift up. And I said, this is nothing new. These wheels have been out a long time. Um, I'm sure there's lots of videos. Um online where you could find these it would be from years ago because like I said these are these are been out for quite a long time and one thing about the wheels if you decide to go buy some um, they all have a seam so your image is gonna cut off right there you can let me bring it up a little bit so it's gonna cut off right there so if you stamp going forward you want to bring that seam um, to the bottom. Now some people roll this way. So if you pull it, then um, put your seam to the top. I push it, so um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll put it to the bottom because uh, I'll get to the, in a minute. I'll show you why some people take theirs apart um, and I can use the the guide here just to show you now these are one inch um, 
wheel, even though I'm crooked here on my grid paper. You can line it up to your grid paper. Um, but if you use your guide, um, start it just like at the bottom and then go up and see pretty um, I'm gonna use it once without the guide see how crooked I am uh, and then I'm gonna start just to see just to show the seam there how much it actually will um, show and actually it doesn't even look that bad surprisingly okay so I'm going to um, roll a little bit of that ink off so it doesn't dry up on there. And they're fairly easy to clean. Um, some of those ones that I did get from that auction are pretty blackened. Um, that's probably because they had a um, an ink cartridge in there, and um, it just has stained it because they don't don't clean it. They just leave it in the wheel. This one's really cute. It's a carnival one. I don't know if it's got it. Yeah, it says Carnival Fun. That's so cute. There's a roller coaster and a little merry-go-round. and They're so cute. I can't wait to try them all out. Um, Alright, so I'm going to heat set this. And I'm going to use some alcohol markers on it just to see what it does. Um, now this paper um, I'm using is Stampin' Up's um, Thinner. Uh, <laughs> what color is it? ivory or whatever I can't even think of what it's called um, but it's good for um, alcohol mar markers it won't bleed um, so I'm going to heat set this and, and put a little alcohol marker on it just to see what it does if it bleeds I don't know usually I stamp um, something with an alcohol marker in black um, and then color it but Sometimes I want a little bit of color. I don't need that anymore. This is my craft sheet. Alright. It had some embossing powder on it. So I'm going to uh, color with some. This is a, a Copic or Copic marker. I don't really go by numbers. People do that when they color. I don't. I'm not that all into it. Um, I'm not that uh, great of a colorist, so if it's green, it's green, it's whatever. So, for the most part, so far, um, I'm not really seeing an issue with that. Um, bleeding out, like they, like they say. And I'm doing this very fast. Um, and I'm standing up. So, if I wanted to take my time a little bit more, um, I would. All I'm wanting to see is this ink. And I think it's fine. I don't think that's bleeding out at all. Huh. So much for that. Uh, let's get some color in there. There's some pink. No, this is a bright. This is a bright pink. Um, this is from a set, a floral, uh, floral set from the Copic. I say Copic. I don't care what anybody else says. You say tomato. I say tomato. <laughs> Well, see, that seems to be coloring just fine. Hmm. All right, so let's get a different brand of marker. Now, these are Stampin' Up, uh, Stampin' Blends. Um, they did, uh, I don't know, remodel or whatever. They're alcohol markers. They were having issues with them a couple years ago with them drying out, um, and they did. I have some that have dried out, um, but they, they remodeled them a little bit. Um... And so far, the ones I have are doing pretty good. So, other than my sloppy, out-of-the-lines coloring, um, that dye ink seems to be holding okay on that alcohol marker. Now, it does bleed to the back. They will all do that. Um, 
So if you're doing it on a card front, you're going to get bleed through, but I don't ever do that. Um, I like it. Cool. So another thing I want to show you with, um, I mean, and you can make this face in this way, make that one go the other direction. I mean, there's just, I'm going to have fun for days with these. Um, another thing I wanted to show you was the um, envelopes. Now, I always try to stamp a little something on my envelopes. I've always done that. But envelope art right now is so you know, on trend. I'm not really a trend follower. Um, but they're making like a lot of stamps that are specifically for sized for envelopes or whatever. Um, use what you have. So I'm going to try this one. I think that's really cute. Now, I said these um, these stamp handles. Um, I don't. I think Rollographs one that they made were purple. Um, the same thing. All right. So one thing you do have to remember is when, like this one, obviously is directional. This is grass, and there's little flowers on there. So when you go to um, stamp these you just got to make sure you're going in the right direction um since i have this green out already i'm just going to use it most of my inks are stamping up colors um i do have some of these um and the reason why i like these oxide inks not necessarily for rubber stamps but the clear stamps the photopolymer stamps i have issues with those <laughs> that's another video but the oxide ink is great. Sticks to those photopolymer stamps like nothing. All right, let me get that one out of the way. So, orientated the right direction. How cute is that? And see, I didn't even use the wheel guide. See, that's cute. You can write your, you can color those in. I like it quick. Like I said, in it to clean these honestly roll all the ink off of it like that and you're pretty much good unless you get ink like like here you can see there's still some of that antique linen on there um, a lot of people use baby wipes now the stamp chamois perfect good enough I didn't clean that off because I wanna I wanted to stamp on this envelope um, like the flaps can stamp the envelope flap. Um, let's see. Let me get me a piece of scrap here. You could do it a different way, but well, that's going to get on there a little bit, but that's all right. So now this is skinnier um, ink pad compared to my stamp. So just keep going and going until it's full. Um, I'm going to stamp right on this flap. Cute. You could even do the inside. <clears throat> but, except for the sticky, the sticky envelope glue. Now this is, is wet. Like I said, this ink does take a while to dry. Um, I do really like it though. So that one definitely will have to sit there and dry a minute. Um, I suppose I could get a couple more out. Like I said, just roll it on a scrap piece of paper um, just to get most of the ink off. And then you can take a rag or your baby wipe or something um, and get that off. But there's so many cute images in here. It's like, which one do I choose first? <laughs> they're, so, they're all so cute. The little bears are cute. Um, there's, there's ivy and swirls. Oh, the little picket fence. Let's do that one. That would be cute. Now, I might use the, um, guide. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just wing it. Um, again, that is a directional one. So, if you're, um, stamping with that, make sure you got it going the right way. Now... This one, you can really see it seam. Um, that one's got a big blob of glue on it. Um, 
but I'm definitely going to go that one. So which way do I have this? Upright. And since my antique linen color is here, um, I'm going to use it. But these are fun, and it's kind of sad that um, push too hard on that. Um, the, you can't hardly find these anymore. If you go to the Clear Snaps website, um, well, I said, again, they're made by um, the color box. People, same people. See that gap? That's the seam. I didn't get my seam correctly. Now, see, that's really crooked. So, your guide would be good for that. Um, but that's fun. You can color that in. I like them. Um, you can't find these anywhere. Nobody sells them anymore. It's like they've lost their popularity, and that's sad. I like, if you could only see my craft room, I have, like, stuff that's old. And I like to use the old stuff because, you know, they need love, too. Um, <laughs> don't let them just sit there. Um, I have plans um, to do a lot of die-cut videos um, using the old dies. Um, I've been collecting them lately, and I should probably quit. <laughs> but I love the big, thick dies. And, <clears throat> off subject, the Sizzix dies. These are fantastic. You can cut so much thick stuff that you can't cut with, like, a real thin die. So, I've got plans for that. But, um, like I said, these are out there. eBay, you can find lots of these. Um, people do sell them singly. Um, the single ones, like this size, is like $3 a piece. Um, some of the jumbo ones, people are still trying to get like $5 a piece. Um, I personally am not going to pay that much. Because <laughs> I like a bargain. Um, but they're fun. And they're cheap. And they do take up a lot less space than the background stamp. So, if it, like I said, if you're not a fan of the background stamps, um, even if it's a clear stamp. Let me grab one. Where are they? Um, a clear background stamp. Oops, I'm knocking it all over. Like these. This company is not no longer in business. Um, these are a, a great option. Um, alternative for the background stamps because the big wooden ones like these aren't real cheap um, so another option is cost wise so that's all I wanted to share um, with you are these uh, roller wheel stamps um, I'll probably be doing some more videos of different techniques with them um, you can definitely emboss um, you can use Versamark and emboss and color and all that stuff. Um, because I do have a, um, some doubles. This lot did come with some doubles. Um, so that will probably be on a giveaway video um, next time I do one. Um, but yeah, check them out. I know I'm going to have fun with them. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.